Have you ever promised yourself that you'll tackle your goals someday, yet find that someday keeps getting pushed back? Seneca's words ring true. While we waste our time hesitating and postponing, life is slipping away. Each moment we delay, a precious opportunity to grow, to act, to live fully, quietly fades away. Today, we draw a line in the sand. Today, we stop marking time and start making marks, turning the ephemeral someday into the tangible today. This video is your catalyst for change. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Watching this video in its entirety is crucial for unlocking stoic solutions for combating procrastination. Are you ready to take the next step? Let's get started on turning plans into reality. Action over perfection. Imagine standing before two paths, one paved with the pursuit of perfection, leading to a horizon ever distant, the other a simple dirt road marked by the footprints of action. The Stoic chooses the latter, knowing well the paralyzing grip of seeking perfection. What if, instead of an impeccable plan, you started with what you have, where you are? Consider the relief of releasing the burden of perfection, allowing yourself the freedom to act, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. A Stoic would tell you that the act of doing, however imperfect, is vastly superior to the idle quest for flawlessness. In taking action, you step into the arena of experience, a place where theoretical perfection gives way to practical learning. Each step taken is a lesson learned, each task completed a victory over the stagnation of perfectionism. Prioritize progress, for in the economy of time, a done something is worth more than a perfect nothing. Embrace this approach and watch as the chains of procrastination fall away, replaced by a liberating momentum. With each action, no matter how small or imperfect, you forge a path closer to the stoic ideal of a life well lived, measured not by the absence of errors, but by the abundance of endeavors. Voluntary discomfort. Embracing the discomfort of challenging tasks is not just a remedy for procrastination, it is a rite of passage in Stoic training. The Stoic would rise early, not out of necessity, but to condition the will against the love of comfort. Similarly, you must step into the arena of your most daunting tasks voluntarily, acknowledging that discomfort is not an adversary, but a trusted sparring partner in the art of personal growth. Consider the task you've been avoiding. Now, imagine starting it, just beginning, without the pressure to complete it. This small step is you shaking hands with discomfort, making it an ally. A Stoic would use this initial unease as a forge for character, and you, by enduring the heat of the moment, are tempering your resolve. The process of willingly enduring what is typically avoided, be it a complex project or a rigorous workout, transforms your perception of difficulty Tasks that once loomed large in your mind shrink to their true size when you confront them head-on. And like the Stoic, who finds contentment in self-control and courage, you'll discover satisfaction in your capacity to persist. By repeatedly practicing voluntary discomfort, the fear of the formidable wanes. Each encounter with a challenging task becomes less of an ordeal and more of an exercise. In time, what once seemed insurmountable becomes a path you walk with confidence, a testament to your stoic fortitude. Time Management Techniques Seneca's words, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it, spotlight the urgency of mastering time management to conquer procrastination. Effective time management techniques transform the intangible into the tangible, creating structure from the chaos of indecision. The first technique is the division of our day into focused blocks, similar to the Stoic's division of logic, ethics, and physics. In practice, this means dedicating specific periods to tasks with a disciplined start and end, akin to the Pomodoro Technique's time segments. This instills a sense of urgency and focus, reminding us that, as Aurelius put it, 
We must concentrate like a Roman, with precision and purpose. Second, we set clear and purposeful goals, as the Stoics did with their intent to live a virtuous life. Each goal acts as a stepping stone towards larger aspirations, and when we define these steps with clarity, we create a path free of the overgrowth of procrastination. The third technique breaks down our goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. This approach echoes the stoic belief in controlling what we can. It takes the overwhelming mountain of to-dos and turns them into achievable hills each one a victory in the march towards productivity. With these three techniques, we wield time as a tool rather than a tyrant, each tick a step closer to our objectives, each talk a testament to our discipline. Setting clear goals and deadlines. In the march against procrastination, setting clear goals and deadlines is as crucial as a compass to a navigator. These are not mere tasks, but beacons guiding us through the fog of daily distractions. As Seneca advises us to focus on what truly matters, defining purposeful goals provides direction and motivation, ensuring our actions are not aimless, but aimed with intention. First, we must identify our goals with precision. Like a sculptor envisioning the statue within the marble, we must see the outcome before we begin. What is it that we seek to achieve? Is it learning a new skill, completing a project, or improving our health? By carving out these intentions clearly, we pave a path towards realizing them. With our goals in sight, we then set deadlines. These are not pressures, but promises we make to ourselves, the accountability that frames our journey. Each deadline acts as a milestone, a check-in point where we can assess our progress, adjust our course, and rekindle our commitment. This method is about more than ticking boxes. It's about crafting a narrative for our lives where each goal met is a chapter completed, each deadline a plot point that moves us forward. When we define our goals and set deadlines, we author our days with purpose and pen our lives with deliberate action. Breaking tasks into smaller steps. Overcoming the mountain of procrastination begins with the removal of one stone at a time. The Stoics, with their profound understanding of nature's order, knew that complex endeavors are best approached by dividing them into smaller, more manageable tasks. This division simplifies what may first appear overwhelming, rendering each action less daunting. It is akin to the wisdom of Zeno, who illustrated that the journey of a thousand stadia starts with a single step. By breaking our tasks into incremental steps, each one becomes a microcosm of achievable success. The task of writing a book, for instance, starts with a single sentence, then a paragraph, followed by a page. Each step, each small victory, accumulates into the grand tapestry of our completed goal, this approach aligns our day-to-day -day actions with the stoic virtue of progress, constant, deliberate, and focused forward movement. Simplifying tasks not only aids in their execution, but also provides frequent moments of accomplishment, fueling our motivation. It is in these small triumphs that we find the momentum to continue, reinforcing our resolve and reminding us that the path to greatness is paved with these modest yet meaningful blocks. Eliminating distractions. In the pursuit of getting things done, Stoics like Seneca advise that we prune away the superfluous, focusing solely on what's essential. So, in the spirit of Stoic simplicity, Let's apply this wisdom to conquer the chaos of modern distractions. Start by simplifying your workspace, keeping only the necessary tools for the task at hand. Tuck away non-essential items, crafting a space that mirrors the mental clarity you aim for. This area of focus stands as a shield from distractions, embodying the Stoic's deliberate way of life. Embrace digital minimalism, Quieten notifications and set aside your phone, those contemporary sirens, to steer your day with a Stoic's purposeful pace. Each silenced ping is a victory over distraction, every stowed gadget a reclaimed moment. 
Consider also the discipline of closing unnecessary tabs or apps on your computer, further anchoring your attention to the task before you. Establish set times for checking emails and social media, just as the Stoics would reflect at day's end. This infuses your routine with intention and prevents the endless scroll through the trivial. With these methods in place, we fortify our attention in the present, a vital practice for any Stoic. It's through this cultivated focus that we transform intention into action, ensuring that our days are not only lived, but lived well with purpose and productivity at their core. Self-Reward System The path of self-improvement is steeped in discipline, and the Stoics knew well that every act of virtue is worthy of acknowledgement. In our quest to overcome procrastination, let us adopt a self-reward system, a Stoic nod to celebrate our progress in discipline and virtue, which fuels further motivation. After completing a focused work session, take a moment to savor a small pleasure, a favorite cup of tea, a brief walk outside, or a moment of solitude. Just as Seneca found richness in simple joys, we too can reinforce our achievements with these simple rewards. Once a task is finished, grant yourself the gift of time, a few undisturbed minutes with a book or the meditative tranquility of watching the world go by. Epictetus taught us that time spent in contemplation is never wasted. Thus such moments double as rewards and opportunities for reflection. For larger milestones, choose rewards that resonate with your personal growth. It could be attending a seminar that piques your intellectual curiosity or investing in a tool that enhances your craft. Inscribe your accomplishments in a journal at day's end, reflecting on the discipline you've displayed. This act of writing is not only a reward, but an affirmation, a Stoic's testament to self-advancement. Remember, the self-reward system is not indulgence, but a deliberate act to reinforce the Stoic virtues of discipline and motivation, each reward a brick in the foundation of a purposeful life. Understand what you can control. In the Stoic quest to master the self and vanquish procrastination, it is imperative to grasp the reins of what is within our control. As Epictetus firmly stated, some things are in our control and others not. Accept this and you draw the line between what you can change and what you must let go. Focus on your actions, your responses and your diligence. These are your domain. When facing a project, dissect it. Determine what aspects you can influence, your effort, your attitude, your methods and pour your energy here. The deadline set by others, the unforeseen obstacle, these lie beyond your grasp. Acknowledge them, prepare for them, but do not let them govern your inner citadel of calm. You must cultivate a practice of identifying distractions, external opinions, and even your past mistakes as territories outside your sphere. They are the noise against which you must fortify your mind. By concentrating on your power to act, to persist, and to execute, you align with the stoic virtue of action. In doing so, you transform procrastination not through sheer willpower, but through wise power, the discerning strength of knowing where to apply your efforts. Understand this, and you hold the key to unlocking not just productivity, but a life of purpose and poise. Negative Visualization Embracing the Stoic practice of negative visualization isn't about pessimism. It's a strategic fortification of the mind. Imagine you're about to embark on a new project. Now envision the potential hurdles, the temptation to put off the start date, the allure of distractions, or the fatigue that whispers, let's leave this for tomorrow. By mentally rehearsing these challenges, you're not succumbing to defeat, but preparing your psyche for combat. You're like a general surveying the battlefield before the conflict begins, identifying where the enemy, procrastination, may strike. So, when you feel resistance, don't retreat. Ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen if I begin now? 
Often, you'll find the imagined obstacles are shadows, dispelled by the light of action. And if setbacks do arise, your anticipation has equipped you with resilience, allowing you to navigate through them with the agility of a stoic philosopher. Use this foresight to bolster your will, prepare contingency plans, have your armor of discipline polished, and strategies ready to deploy. This stoic tactic ensures that when the moment comes to act, you're not just reacting, but responding with a readiness that has already conquered fear and hesitation in the arena of the mind. Seeking mentorship and community support. In the realm of action, sometimes our hesitation stems from a simple lack of knowledge. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, people exist for the sake of one another. Teach them then, or bear with them. It's a call to seek wisdom when our path is unclear and our tasks daunting. A mentor, steeped in the experience we seek, can offer that guiding light, turning the unknown into a well-lit path of progress. Reach out for community support or ask questions when tasks bewilder you. A Stoic would not shun such resources. They are the very fabric of shared human experience and growth. Within these relationships lies the antidote to procrastination, a combined strength to push forward, to learn, and to do. Let each interaction with a mentor or each exchange within a community refine your approach to tasks. With every piece of advice, you dismantle a fragment of procrastination, replacing uncertainty with action, doubt with determination. Engage with those who have traversed these roads before, and you will find the beginnings much less formidable. In the Stoics' world, wisdom shared is time saved, and collaboration is the cornerstone of progress. As we draw this discourse to a close, pause and reflect on the steps you will take today, not tomorrow, to chip away at the monolith of procrastination. Envision the satisfaction not of tasks completed with unattainable perfection, but of progress made through consistent, deliberate action. Let the Stoic's wisdom anchor you in the present, where real change occurs. Commit to one act you've postponed right now as the video ends. Propel yourself into the realm of doing where the truest growth unfolds. This is the moment where your journey pivots from the idle contemplation of what could be to the vibrant reality of what is. Go, take that step, and let the momentum of today carry you forward into a future crafted by action.